It's a mishmash by a best team liquid with M4s, Famuses, UMPs, and Nitro with a plucky MP9. Elise drops first. The talisman so far for Team Liquid. Five on four. Masvets one step closer now as they go towards the ramp room. We have got one player waiting for them. Stan. He has oh. been so good so far. He gets one. Can't get anything else done. The refrag is great from Mouseports here. And Sunny listening towards the lobby as well. This is looking good. Stan and Elise now have to watch as their tournament hopes hang in the balance. Oscar extends it, Twist now joins them. As it's down to Nitro, alone, just Nitro. Oscar's got two, Sticker's gonna finish it, and Mouse Sports, they've done it. The trophy is theirs, it has been such a underdog story, just a month together. Mouse Sports have done it. SK, Gambit, Virtus Pro, Big, Heroic, Nor you know, not North, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> But the, the list is endless. Yes, you have Of teams right. that could have lifted this trophy. This is an unlikely grand final, and I think an unlikely victor as well. Everyone anticipated Liquid to take the victory. You can see what it means to these boys. Rob, 17 years old, suddenly coming from tier two. Sticko, the new boy of the lineup. Oscar, coming back in after being removed. So many storylines here, and they've done it. They've won a best of five. It went right down to the wire there, but what a performance it was on Nuke. Impeccable stuff. Everyone showed up there, and you have to say that's going to be disappointing. A bitter pill to swallow for Liquid. Their stars didn't align, and they find themselves a 16 4 score. This grand final, as well, we started by saying, Where is Sunny? Where is Oscar? We had these questions, we needed answers, and they all come and correlate here on Nuke. 30 francs for Oscar, 19 for Sunny. It's a brief affair on Nuke. Liquid just struggled to get going. And it's an unlikely squad, really. When you look at it on paper, this the team started. Lads. I mean, so long ago, as they are here in Greece. It's a big win. Smiles creeping onto their faces because they have done it, and they know it. And here are your squad. Don't forget the coach as well. From left to right, Sticko, Sonny, Chris J, Oscar, LMBT, and Rops. These six players have done it. They are your champions. Mouse Sports are your ESG Tour Mykonos champions. There we go then. The first ever ESG Tour champions here in Mykonos are Mouse Sports. They receive the trophy and the accolades of the crowd around us as well. They'll all celebrate long and hard, I'm sure. We're going to get the uh, medal ceremony going as well. Stamos from PV Pro, the CEO, presenting the medals to the Mouse Sports team. And of course, getting a bottle of champagne alongside too. Uh, big congratulations to them. We're back at the panel. We'll just talk over this. We'll stay with the uh, members out there right now getting their medals and Murphys and Thorin will give their thoughts on this particular grand final. Duncan, we'll start with you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that's a good way to end. We like that. It's been a while. <laughs> it has been a while. I have to say, first of all, obviously, congratulations to Mouse Sports. Great performance. Fantastic closing game from Oscar there. I thought it would be a great final game, but sadly, Team Liquid had to pull in Immortals and not show up to a map of the final. <laughs> You had to get one in, didn't it's you? It's the new thing now. You had to yeah. get one Everyone's in. Everyone's going to be doing it at school. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. Are we going to get the champagne? Can anyone spray that? They can. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. And by the way, since we, we haven't referenced it this week, actually, <laughs> because it's such a new lineup, I do want to say the first person to receive a, a medal there was LMBT, who's the coach of Mouse yep. Sports. And ever since he joined Mouse Sports, actually, he was referenced as someone who <laughs> helped to bring about some of those tactics when people like Chris J had to become the in game leader, you know, someone without experience doing that role. He's obviously a veteran himself from the <laughs> Ukrainian scene. Sorry, Stamos has just gone in the water as well. I think everyone's jumping in now. Sorry, mate. <laughs> it's all right. They're just having fun out there. There's far too much, but do you want to go and jump in? Definitely not. <laughs> so, man, those, those freezing water already in, in daytime. No, the problem with this is obviously, like, it, it ended up being kind of a victory lap at the end for the Mouse Sports yes. guys, but even though they were dominating the first half, you knew if Liquid could just win the pistol, if they could just get going that way, and it, it, and for, even though they were the ones favored on this map, it never happened for them. Yeah. Well, I mean, basically what happened is we said, you win the pistol on CT side, you rack up a lot of rounds, and sometimes it's one round that makes the difference. Well, this time Mouse Force won the second half pistol. Liquid curiously did not go for the second round force buy. And once they failed on the third round, it's basically a game. It's incredible performance by Oscar. There's 30 kills yes. in about 20 yeah. rounds of play. 
and he wasn't even sniping in that game. No. It was all rifles. Exactly, yes. Just well, incredible. So there's no argument from between these you two now for well, MVP of the tournament. Not because won, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> there would have been otherwise, but... So, okay. so are we settled on our MVP after that I think performance? It's going to be Oscar, yeah. Has I, to be I Oscar, think it's obvious. It? Yeah. I will acknowledge for some of the final, he wasn't wasn't the best player sure. on the mouse, but he closed out the, the decider. As you say, he did it with rifles. A lot of people don't know, before he started orping in Hellraisers, he was a hybrid. He yeah. was actually mainly using, obviously, he was, he was a guy you'd often see with a rifle. And he's someone in 1.6, in fact, was mainly known as a rifler. I think you also have to look at him and say, for the rest of the tournament, what a beast he was. I mean, he's really part of the reason they're here. Yes. I mean, remember, this is a team that could have been 2-0 by Gambit. That absolutely could have happened. That was a, a pretty good series overall. I think you also have to mention in that game there, just because he had a big play, Sonny had amazing poise in this team. You know, when you consider it's a brand new team, he's never played with them. In theory, it takes a while to build chemistry with people, kind of yeah. know unconsciously what they're going to do. His sense stuff for when to push up, obviously it was a great flank he had there on Nuke when he got behind everyone at the pillbox outside. I think in general, you kind of see the formula for where this team could go. Chris J doesn't have to do a lot of fragging. He's got all these guys on his team. Rops doesn't have to.